No, this is going to be the world's worst video. New toy arrived. I'm going to put it up there. Um, disconnected that lot to get to my um, DC breaker. And... and that's horrible light, but you can see how discoloured that positive is. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Fairly sure that's too hot. So I wonder, and that heat's coming from that, although not done up properly, although that's torqued down pretty well. What have we got? I only got 23 amps coming through the inverter. And the volts. Uh, another little fault to deal with today. That's not much fun. That's alright. Change things around a little bit, get this done more efficiently. So, it's another MPP unit, PCM60X, and oh, there's the ground. I'm right, going to install that. My little Ryobi fan is going to keep that cool in the meantime. It's brilliant, it's been going for three or four hours now. Without recharging the battery, I'll keep that a bit cool. And proceed to do all the cabling and get it all wired in. Okay, after a few minutes of troubleshooting, that inverter's working. I'm not going to turn the phone around or spin the video around, but you get the idea. Batteries are charged. Look at that. Look at that cable. Burnt and cracked. It was because and I've got a spare one, so it's not a problem. Put a new one up on, on that. And underneath the clasp that holds the cable in place had broken. I talked it down too tight, probably. And, um, yeah, I think that's what they call micro-sparking. They're causing heat and, you know, potentially a house fire. I'm glad I caught that, but, you know, I guess it's a problem with having all your equipment sort of at ground level. Well, it's not really at ground level, but so time to get up on the roof, change the panel configuration of that, and change it from 30 volts to 100 and something volts. Get the amps down and see how much better it is. I'm quite enjoying this process. It's a little bit frustrating, but I still enjoy the, the challenge and the tinkering. So the panels are cleaned up, cut all the extra cable off. We're about four or five meters of extra cable there, dual straw, dual straw end, and a whole heap of MC4 connectors, Y branch connectors. No more heat problems. I'm not going to show you the roof because it's well, you can't see it all because it's all zip tied up. But that with my PCM 60X, still gonna do all the tidy up, still gonna put a battery sense, temperature sense, and the battery sense on there. Um, I've got the hole up in the bottom of the meter box. I got the new 50 amp DC breaker. Uh, I've got another breaker, I'm gonna put a new breaker box on there, like um, just in case. Uh, everyone seems to be copying that sort of type, so it must be half decent, I guess. Um, few cables and stuff to tidy up and we're good to go again pretty happy the new inverter is going quite well it's doing 700 watts already and it's only eight o'clock in the morning usually I wouldn't see 700 watts until 10 and then I'd max out at 800 watts. So that new invert, that new um, charge controller is working a treat. Yeah, so it's 730 watts. Most of the panels are in sun. There's still got two there shaded. 
So this one, this one and this one are in a group of three. This one, this one and this one are in a group of three. And that one, that one and that one are in a third group of three. So this end won't be working, so I'm only working at two-thirds capacity. That is awesome. 900 watts at 9 o'clock. Panel's still a little bit in shade, those, those last two. But another 15 minutes down the track. Give or take 17 minutes, there we go. Creeping up. Nice bright sunshine out there. It's a pretty good looking day. Only a few wispy clouds. Good day for it, that's for sure. Uh, well, those panels are completely in the in the sun now. No more shading whatsoever. And they are going gangbusters. And I'd say that's pretty much the limit of what that charge controller is capable of doing reliably. Good results.